Hey, Tiny T Prepper here, and just want to talk a little bit about cartridges for uh, printers. I know there's uh, people that have ink cartridges for ink jet printers, and people like me that have uh, toner cartridges for uh, laser printers. And this one is a Phaser 6180. It's a color printer. And as you can see, I got an orange light there on, and that's because the black cartridge needs replacing. I don't know if I can bring that up on there, but you can see that message on there, replace black cartridge. Now, what kind of irks me about this is I bought some cartridges here within a few months ago, probably six months to eight months ago, and I don't do a lot of printing, not a lot of heavy printing, and I bought high capacity, which are supposed to be, I think it's 8,000 to 10,000 pages, something like that, for the high capacity toner cartridges, and... I was calculating how much printing I do, and I'd act, this actually does record it, and I couldn't find my original sheet to see what I started out with for replacing, but I do have it here somewhere, and I will look that up. But I know it's only a few hundred, you know, at the, I know I didn't print a thousand sheets on this, and it's asking for that cartridge to be replaced. Now, the problem I think I'm having is when you order cartridges, if you look on the internet, you'll see a varying prices, and part of that is they make what they call a replacement cartridge or a refilled cartridge which is what this top one is here. The bottom one which is what I usually buy is a what they call an OEM cartridge it's original uh, manufacturing cartridge from Xerox and and that's what I got now these cost probably twice as much but I've never had trouble with them when I put this one in I, I bought all the different colors for this there's four cartridges and and I bought all four, and I'd bought another ones before for, you know, for I work in, in technology, you know, besides doing prepping, my full-time job is in technology. And so I, I went through ink cartridges that are refilled and toner cartridges, and I've swore and swore that I'll never go back to them again because about 50% of the ink cartridges won't work and we have to send them back. They, they usually guarantee that they'll, they'll replace them free, but... Uh, you know how that works, you're needing a cartridge right then and, and it ain't working and it's kind of a hassle and a lot of people end up not doing it and I think that's what they count on. Uh, you know, they'll replace them but, you know, it, it's it's a real hassle. So, especially when you're needing one and, and you run out and don't have it. But we bought ink cartridges and about 50% of the ink cartridges that were replacement ones failed and on the OEM ones, hardly rarely had one of those fail unless it had been on the shelf for a couple of years. It, they they generally work real well so with the ink cartridges and with the toner cartridges being so much more for instance this toner cartridge down here this OEM is 200 and some bucks which is a lot of money good thing is you don't have to replace them very often this replacement cartridge which is a refill is a hundred and some dollars I think it was 120 or 130 so quite a bit of savings probably hundred dollars savings so it's real attractive to go for this but when you only get about a thousand pages and it starts acting up uh, and you can't do anything about it, it ain't worth it. And I'm telling you people, you know, I thought I'd, I'd, I'd give a chance. We we used to buy this from this company here, this, I uh, forget which one it is, uh, but it says it's OEM compatible and everything, But and it's 100% guaranteed, but, you know, I bought these eight months ago. Chances are they're not going to replace them, and it's going to be a hassle to do it. And don't know, it's Prime IT Solutions that sells it. Of the refillable, I do say that the Prime the Prime IT are the best of those. So if you are going to go with it, these are better. They're pretty reputable. They will replace them, but I'd rather pay the extra and have something I can rely on for eight to 10,000 sheets and not have to worry about it, you know, acting up. I'd read on a lot of the, the other ones, not this company, but a lot of the other companies, reviews on them. You know, they put them in, they'll leak uh, toner out, and that's what this one did, the black one. It leaked toner. I had to clean a lot of toner up throughout my printer. And, you know, when you have an expensive color laser printer, you really don't want to have to be cleaning toner out of it, and you can mess up other things in there. Luckily, you know, it, it, you know, it's, it was kind of bad, but it, it was something I, I did. I was able to clean up. And you do want to be careful with toner. It is a carcinogenic. You don't want to breathe that in. They make you use a vacuum, you know, you need to use a special vacuum to suck that stuff up with a special filter. Otherwise, it'll get up in the air, and that can be real real hazardous for your health. So do be careful if you mess with toner. That's why, you know, I've never had an OEM laser cartridge ever fail, and they generally last me a long time. You know, I've been buying the low capacity, which are 3,000 sheets, and they generally last about, a, you know, maybe a year or two. And But the high capacity, they last a lot longer, so... Uh, I'm hoping this one, I guh guess I'll go back to just buying OEM. I'd hoped that this uh, 
company with Prime IT that this, that have a little better luck. Now, I still have three cartridges in there from this country that are still doing okay, and I'm hoping when I replace this one, I don't end up having to replace some of these other ones. Now, when I put these this uh, compatible one in, this it's uh, actually like a refill. I don't think it's even. I don't don't know how they do these. I I, I suspect they refill or. Or they make it. I don't. I don't think it's a generic one that they make new. I think it's something that they refurbish, and they do do a good job. But uh, like I say, one out of the four now have failed, and I, and I'm pretty sure I have less than a thousand prints on this. And so, anyway, for refillable or replace, you know, anything that's not OEM, I say run the other way and don't waste your time, don't waste your money, and don't take a chance on ruining your printer. Ink jets. I've had ink run all over the printer and ruin the printer. You just can't get that ink off once it gets all over everything. And same thing with toner. Once it gets all over everything, it's it's pretty bad mess in there. So uh, it is true what they say. They they do fail and they do can make a mess in your printer. And like I say, I got three still working. So you know, hopefully maybe that they'll go on and last as long as they're supposed to. And but if they don't, I'll let you know and give another review on those. But. I'm going to change this one here. I'm going to stop this video. I just want to do a talk a little bit about uh, the replacement one versus the OEM cartridges and and how those uh, and the experience I've had with them. You know, and I've had quite a bit of experience. We we have used these, the black ones that at work. We didn't have the color ones of these, and we've used a lot of those because you know when you're buying, <laughs> I don't know, we buy 50 of these cartridges. You know, every three months or so, we're doing a lot of printing at the printing department up there. And the black ones, you know, it was worth it. You know, we'd have one fail once in a while, but not very often. And so, like I say, this Prime IT of all of them is the best. We'd worked with other companies, you know, at work and, and didn't have real good luck with those. But when we switched to these guys, they are the best of the, of the replaceable ones like this. But it looks like me like they don't compare with the OEM. I've never had one of these fail on me. Here, the toner leaked out on the black one, and, and I'm hoping I don't have trouble with the other colors that I that I have in there. I have three now of these replacement ones and I'll soon have this one in so I can get that blinking light off and use our printer again. So I'll, I'm going to do a video in case you're not sure if you've never changed it. I'll do another video on changing the cartridge so look around on my videos if you ever want to look at changing cartridges. They're all kind of similar, a little bit different. You have to have a Xerox. Uh, this model, it, you'll know how to do it on that one exactly. But if you have a, a laser printer then you'll Kind of get the idea. So look for another video on changing a toner cartridge if you're interested in that. Tiny T signing out. Y'all have a good day.